All right, yeah. I should put this down. Try and put this down. There you go. I got my light situation working out there. So this is Futurama. Uh, season 7, episode 13, and season 8, uh, episode 1. So season finale is season 7. Anyway, um, uh, it's a Christmas episode for the last episode of season 7. And... Uh, so what was it three stories that they use? This is pretty much the same format as you would see in The Simpsons. Uh, if you didn't know now, it's something I was educated on. Uh, a lot of the writers, um, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the writers and creative minds behind The Simpsons also work on Futurama. Uh, you can't really see it in animation; just a slight, tad, tiny bit of the. Uh, of the animation shows through, but I don't think it's a, not a no, it's not a noticeable amount. But anyway, um, so the first one is about uh, Christmas trees. Of course, in this time period, everything's extinct, and these Christmas trees have been extinct for God knows how many years, and they bring them back. But they bring them back, and happens that uh, all these uh, I guess they call it like heirloom uh, seeds or something like that. They're older seeds. Maybe I'm stretch. Maybe that's a stretch. Finna be calling it that, but there's seeds that have been saved, historical seeds, or whatever the case may be, but they're stored right next to uh like biological weapons or something like that. So of course there's uh, a mix of the two, and uh, they bring back the pine tree and they grow it, and the tree gets uh, like a insane growth spurt out of nowhere, and then it winds up uh, dropping off uh, pine cones in the form of grenades, and those grenades actually. Uh, throw off other trees and it continues to do that until the world is uh, uh, reclaimed by uh, pine trees. Uh, now, funny thing happens. Uh, the amount of trees decreases the amount of carbon is it monoxide. Or not? I always get that confused. But it, it, it decreases the amount of that and increases the amount of pure oxygen, which everybody knows pure oxygen is flammable. But I think we don't necessarily have pure oxygen floating around. It's always uh, contaminated by a number of things. That's my dryer going off in the background. It's always contaminated by a number of things. So you got that to deal with. But at any, any rate, uh, Bender winds up lighting a cigar. And of course, pure oxygen around a flame. Kaboomy. Blows up the whole earth. Pretty pretty grim for a Christmas story. Uh, I think the second and third stories wind up being just as grim. Um can't for the life of me remember what happens in the second or third story. I can't remember if it's three stories or not, which is bad on my part. Um, let's see what else happens. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think I thought Fry had a story. Oh, or was it? Not now. See, now I'm all, all I'm thinking about now is the last last thing I watched was was. Episode eight. I'm, I, I apologize so much, but uh, I didn't necessarily like uh, season the uh, the episode thirteen and, and season seven. Anywho, I thought it was a little little much, it's a little too grim for it to be a Christmas special. I mean, every every one, everybody. Well, I think they had one about Kwanzaa too. Oh, okay, I remember now. So one one was about the Christmas trees. One was about vendors and his holiday, which was. Uh, Robonica, and then there was uh, one about Hanukkah with the uh, with the robot Kwanzaa bot with, with the Kwanzaa bot. I'm sorry. So, but the like I said uh, just a few seconds earlier, everybody wind all the characters wind up being dead in every story. So it's like it's a little too grim for me to be a Christmas story. Um, I guess I could jump to uh, the first episode in season eight. Now this one is pretty interesting here. So, they're taking a look at uh, gender roles. So, you're going to see... It, but they, they're so heavy with stereotypes uh, from the beginning of the of the episode. Oh, men do this, men do that. Women women are this, women are that. They just lay it on thick, you know. Uh, women are always looking to shop, and they're always... Uh, they're always uh, they're always cold. They throw that around, and men never uh, ask for directions, and... Uh, Men always think they need to conquer things and be uh, um, brutish or something like that. But I, it's a deeper conversation. That's one of the reasons I like Futurama so much. It's a deeper conversation. It's a deeper conversation 
all I'm doing is scratching the surface when it comes to uh, when it comes to a lot of these episodes. You know, I mean, especially this one. This one, you can sit down and have probably a really lengthy conversation about it. But at any rate, um, so they wind up uh, going to. Well, the reason that the whole the whole uh, uh, sex thing comes up, like male and female comes up, is because. Uh, uh, the company's failing and they're like oh we should we should turn this into a, a airline like nah we should do a, a swimsuit uh a company swimsuit or something like that but they only have like a couple of women on on staff it's like it's amy and leela i think that's two but then hermes brings his wife and and that's three um they they wind up taking a photo shoot but it doesn't really go that well and then they wind up uh getting on the ship, flying somewhere else. No, they wind up actually taking, I, I apologize. They wind up actually using the idea to turn the, uh, the company into a, um, like a, 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 an airline. So they wind up taking uh, passengers somewhere and, they, and the guys, of course, mess it up and they wind up crashing and then they wind up finding some crazy bean who, who turns them uh, gender neutral. And of course, this is all speculation, I think, but it's like I said, it's it, it's it is gonna spark a deeper con. It should spark a deeper, deeper. Let me slow down. It should spark a deeper conversation. Uh, so they wind up uh becoming gender gender neutral, and <laughs> what do you know? There's peace everywhere, and they wind up uh, getting a lot of things uh, achieved. Uh, but then at one point comes up, it's like ah. You know, their husband and wife, uh, uh, Hermes and his wife, they were sitting there genderless, and they're like, ah, oh, this is perfect. Why would we need to have uh, or sex organs, basically? And they're like, well... And she whispers something to Jerry. He's like, ah, oh, he runs back. Well, you know, let me speculate what she said, but, you know, it's probably something along the lines of you never want to reach the mountaintop again, basically. And uh, they demand to have their sexes back, but the guy winds up... Um, the, the guy winds up switching him. So all the female characters turn male and all the male characters turn female, which is kind of like, mm, kind of like, it's kind of kooky. But again, it's it's still one of the better episodes that they, that they have just because of the topic that they're dealing with here. So they wind up um, going through that whole thing. And of course, that, that being that uh, was switching their sexes around like all willy-nilly, <laughs> Winds up uh, being killed by Zap Brannigan, of course. Comes in, thinks, I don't even think, I don't even feel like at this point he thinks he's saving the day. He's just talking to be talking, just like me, <laughs> some would say. Uh, and then he, um, so he, uh, what does he do? Yeah, he kills the being, and then uh, they're stuck like that. Then they get back to Earth. Uh, somehow, at, at some point, they're still profitable enough to keep the uh, the business afloat, which I'm like, they just forgot about that. Now they're completely immersed in the fact that the uh, genders have changed, which I, I probably will, if I was in that situation, I probably would do that too. But, you know, you, you still got something at hand here. You know what I mean? Um, so what happens? So they wind up doing a photo shoot, I mean, a calendar with all the male characters now as female, and then they wind up uh, being able to save the, they sell enough stuff Enough calendars to be able to save the company. I thought it was funny. It, it's just like, it's just like a little, it's just like a little filler. It's a story, but it's a little filler. But still, I think the main idea is gender roles here. Um, they wind up getting changed back, all back to their um, no more genders at the end of the episode. Uh, the only one I think didn't do it was Scruffy. It's the janitor. <laughs> That's my limited knowledge, I guess. Like I said, I've watched this series. Plenty of times. Uh, so, if you like me ranting about Futurama, I've got plenty of uh, other episodes. Uh, also, I just completed uh, the second season of Mandalorian. Got Breaking Bad. And I just did two more episodes of Wire. And also just uploaded a, a movie reaction. Oh, uh, yeah. I have busy hands, so I'm always taking some apart or grabbing some. Anyway, like and subscribe.